Welcome to another 3D Quick Tips video. This video is going to be about how to hotkey and speed up your smoothing group workflow. Uh, basically, when I'm modeling all of my designs, such as this one that I'm about to bring up, I am always modeling with my smoothing groups, and I'm always changing them and making them as close to the final model as possible. So I have an idea of how my model is going to smooth. As you can see here, I've opened up an old blockout file, and I already have all my smoothing groups set. Um, the reason I do this is it allows me to kind of understand how I want things to smooth, how I want things to transition, and where I want hard edges and soft edges. Uh, I work with this also because it just makes it easier to kind of visualize the end result. But let's talk about how I do it quickly, and also let's go over some good techniques. And I also will have the hotkeys in the description, and then I will also be uploading a script for hardening and smoothing your edges in 3ds max um, I use this a lot uh, I use this constantly while I'm modeling but anyway let's get into it very quickly so one thing that uh, I know a lot of people when they first get into 3ds max are taught a lot of people I've noticed because I remember this is the first way that I learned it um, but since the graphite modeling tools have come out I don't think that it's something that people should be using so when you're in face selection you scroll down here we see polygon smoothing groups now, a lot of people will literally manually assign these smoothing groups. They'll use these buttons down here, auto smooth, select by smoothing group, which is actually not a bad feature. But the rest of the things on here, there's really no reason to use them unless you're using the auto smooth. So I basically model without ever, 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 ever touching this menu ever, ever, ever. Anyway, so let's talk about what I do do. So basically up here in the graphite modeling tools, we have these three buttons. And they are called uh, hard, smooth, and smooth 30. Essentially what these do is what they sound like they do. They take your face selection and they will make it hard. Now, if you click this extended button, it'll do hard selected. So it's only the polygons I have selected are now hard. Same thing here, smooth selected, smooth 30 selected. So what Smooth 30 Selected does is it basically takes everything that is not above a 30 degree angle in angle change and assigns them the same smoothing. Now, of course, this isn't going to always look great. Uh, it's not going to be perfect. But it'll oftentimes get you at least a base of what you want. So I always have this one hotkeyed. So basically my hotkey setup is I have, let me select something is faster. Um, so basically my hotkey setup is I have shift 1 is smooth 30, shift 2 is hard selected, shift 3 is smooth selected, shift 4 is hard edge. So a new feature in I believe 3ds Max 2016 or 15, I'm not sure, is you can smooth and hard by edge. So my shift 4 is hard edge and then my shift 5 is uh, soft edge. So that's a Maya-like functionality that is, until recently, only been a, an extension or a script in 3ds Max. I actually don't use it that much. I really just do a lot of uh, hotkeying because hotkeys almost always get me exactly what I want. Like for ex example here, oh, this is a place where I might use uh, I might use a smooth edge. Anyways, the principle itself is very simple. You know, select the faces that you want to smooth, harden, or do a smooth 30 on. But when I'm modeling, I just try and make sure that in the blockout stages, I am paying attention to how things are transitioning and smooth. And I do this through smoothing groups. So even when I'm doing blockouts, I like to pay attention to my smoothing groups. You know, like here, for example, I go in and fix these faces. And you know, there's some weird geo going on here, but. So here I'd just be fixing this, doing some hard edges on these guys, or some smooth edges, and trying to make sure that stuff looks correct in my blockout stage. Uh, so that's one reason why I use it, is I'm always trying to make sure that I can kind of see as close to the final results as possible. Uh, and the final end result is this guy right here. And I use this technique for pretty much everything I'm making and I find it to be very helpful. If you open up your customize menu, up here, customize, customize user interface, we can go into our hotkey editor and find the following commands. 
which I have put in this Word document, and I'm going to be putting it in the description. So we have Smooth 30 selection, I have that as Shift 1. Hard selection, I have that as Shift 2. Smooth selection, I have that as Shift 3. Hard edges and smooth edges are Shift 4 and 5. So that pretty much covers it. It's very simple and straightforward, but basically the point of the video is if you hotkey your smoothing groups, it can make your life much, much easier versus using the 3ds max uh, hotkey or sorry polygon smoothing group menu i think it's antiquated and unnecessary so anyways i uh, just wanted to share these tips and i'll make some more videos later bye